love nights where it's like raining really hard and the wind is swirling around because every once in a while you'll just see like a crumpled corpse of an umbrella on the sidewalk. <laughs> you ever see like a mangled, twisted heap of metal? The next time you see one of those, take a moment of respectful silence. <laughs> because every busted umbrella you see represents a truly shit moment in someone's life. <laughs> That is a catastrophically bad day that person was having. Because that's not like a casual experience, right? Like, hey, fellas, look, my umbrella turned inside out. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'll just delicately place this here and go about my day. Tra la 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 la. It's never that. It's usually somebody like, fuck! <laughs> fuck it, this ends now! I can't even get to a garbage can, screw it! There's a trash can roughly every 30 yards in Boston, so when you see an umbrella on the sidewalk, that is someone who simply said, no mas. <laughs> I'm not a religious person, but if there is a hell, I believe it is walking through a city for eternity in a rainstorm carrying a $4 CVS umbrella. <laughs> Forever and ever, amen. It's one of the nice things about being a comedian, I get to travel this great nation bringing laughter to dozens. And uh, <laughs> sometimes when I'm traveling without my wife, I will treat myself uh, to a meal at a fancy restaurant, because trust me, fellas, I'm worth it. <laughs> a lot of people do not like eating alone at nice restaurants. I don't mind it, but I find the people around me get very uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> a few months ago, I was in Dayton, Ohio at like a five-star restaurant, which is kind of a contradiction in terms. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, in Ohio, all five stars means is you're not ordering off of your placemat. That's all that means. <laughs> oh, I don't need to move my bread plate. Oh, it's like a book. Um, anyway. <laughs> I was trying to enjoy my meal, but there was a couple next to me on a first date, and I could tell I was bumming them out merely by my presence. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like they kept looking over at me and like hushing their conversation. You know, like I'm listening to them. Of course I am, of course I am, of course I am. I don't have anything to do. But I don't care what they're talking about. Oh, you think Les Mis was overrated? Oh, I'm gonna write that down, I don't care. <laughs> These people's lives are stupid. But <laughs> what bothered me is that I was being judged. I could see it on the guy's face. He's looking at me the whole time like, look at this guy, all alone. What's his problem? So here's what I did. Feel free to steal this if you're ever in this situation. I just stared at the chair across me for like five minutes. And then I said, happy anniversary, Karen. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah.